Welcome to the latest cool pop-up music club, complete with a host of global stars led by Blur frontman Damon Alban. But there is no glitzy venue involved here. This is Mali, a country that's been torn apart by war. Fighting has raged in the African nation since the early 1990s, although a peace deal between the government and the rebels was signed in June. It broke down a few months later, but Damon Alban's Africa Express, set up in 2006, was all about building connections across the world and bringing performance together. He's part of a group in the Malian capital, Bamako, tonight producing more music. I spoke to them all earlier. Damon, do you think it's going to be possible to kind of stimulate the, stay, the same amazing kind of response that there was to Africa Express, you know, seven years ago? We're always in a, diff a different place. I mean, th there, there, are, there are faces that, that, that uh, reoccur, but there's always, I mean, an unbelievably um, rich pool of, of music and, and new talent to, to sort of, you know, explore, really. Basakui, um, I mean, you played at the proms here, so everybody knows who you are. Uh, I'm wondering, um, what do you think that uh, the same kind of enthusiasm can be produced uh, that Damon managed to join in in that first wave of Africa Express? Okay, Africa Express, I'm a seer from music, Malian music. Um, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, uh, my, my English is very bad. <laughs> Man, I'm very happy, everybody happy. Uh, new talent from Music Malian. Great, uh, great, great new talent from Music Malian. Africa Express, that's my family. Ghost Poet, uh, you've never been to Mali before, so how has it struck you being there? You know, I have a really rich musical heritage and I've learned a lot just being here for a short period of time. I've only been here for two, three days and I've learned so much. And um, I really want to make sure that I come back again another time to experience this some more. Damon, how dangerous is it for Buseka and his band currently to play and to travel in Mali? John, um, for example, Afal Bakum, who, who, who for me was, what, was the musician in a way that, that sort of set me off on, on, on the journey that I'm on in the sense that he, he sang on, on the album I made, Mali Music, in 2000. Um, he, he, he's living in Bamako. He was displaced somewhat last year from, from, from near Funke, which is outside of Timbuktu, from his family. Um, but we managed to get his musicians uh, down this time. Uh, you know, another classic example of the unpredictability of life in Africa. They, they, they took a three-day uh, boat trip uh, down the Niger. Um, he heard on, on the second day that there'd been a terrible accident. Uh, a boat had sunk, 30 people had died, 150 injured. Uh, there was no more information, but he spent the next uh, 24 hours, you know, believing that maybe he's, he'd lost all his musicians. And then, no communication, and then they turn up on, on his doorstep. They're safe. Well, that really does bring it home. Uh, uh, Damon, as we're talking to you, can I just ask you, finally, one question? A continent away, Russia, Greenpeace. What are your thoughts about these 30 Greenpeace activists who are facing the possibility of many, many years in jail for so-called piracy? I've already, I've already kind of given my position, and, and, and that is that uh, the, the Russians should recognise that this is peaceful protest. Um, any form of peace, peaceful protest should, should, should not be um, approached as piracy or blasphemy or, you know, it, 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 if, we, if that's taken away from us as humans, we're all, you know... Damon Alban and his friends in Bamako, Mali, talking to me earlier. Kathy.